So many of us, the holidays are a time to indulge in our favorite sweets. And the peak season is well underway at one candy shop in Woodhaven, Queens. CBS 2's Elle McLogan takes us there in the latest episode of The Dig. These are the delights. 40 pieces to a pound. How many plaques, how many pieces, all through my 10 fingers. So the hands get washed, and that's the finished product drawing. Hi, I'm Margie Schmidt. I'm at Schmidt's Candy Store. We've been in Woodhaven for 95 years. My grandfather started it, and we're still here. We still do everything the way Grandpa did it, with the recipes coming over from Germany. My father did it. Now I continue to do it. That's 90 years old? Yeah, they're all not, everything is 90 years old, honey. The store, the floor, the wall. This is Carmel Delight. Some people call them turtles. Mm. All the candy, because it's handmade of different sizes and shapes. You're kind of a one-woman show yes. here. If somebody wants it mailed, they walk it to the post office. Beginning to end. Occasionally, kids will volunteer to help put things in bags. Who wouldn't volunteer at yeah. the candy store? I ask you, but uh, now there's assorted nieces and nephews, neighborhood kids, and you support the neighborhood, the neighborhood supports you. <laughs> <laughs> every day, every day, every day. I know it's a quarter to three because the door opens and the kids from the local school come in. Hi, Miss Margie. They get a free sample. I send them on their way. Sometimes they have a dollar. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's a fun product. You know, you're not buying eggs and milk. This is fun. This yeah. is um, excess. This is the want rather than the need. I personally think it's a need, but... <laughs> I love her. So She's much. great. I want to hang out with her, <laughs> right? It, I mean, I, it was hard to get me to leave. Yeah. I wanted to hang out the whole day with her. Uh, but Margie's grandfather, Frank, opened Schmidt's Candy in 1925. And Margie does have kids who are around college age. So far, she doesn't know yet if they want to take it over. But if they're watching, please, you know, keep this around <laughs> keep it going. forever. Well, I yes. love that the molds are so old. She's mm -hmm. at 90 years old. So she's really old. keeping up the actual tradition. And when you step into the place, it's like, you know, the interior can have changed since 1920. Yes. The old tile floors and everything's wood. Oh, that's and it's, it's an unlike any other place that I've been. And of course, the candy. Of course, the candy. Of well, course. let me tell you something, honey. <laughs> All right. Did you feel like you were at home? Like you were in your own, your own kitchen? It and must are, have been. There are kids who have free reign of the shop. There's this back yeah. area where there are kind of scraps that don't make it into the final mold. And uh, kids are just picking the scraps. Uh, gold off the mine. Table. The absolute gold mine. <laughs> we're available to pick up scraps. Yes. Anytime. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Elle. You, Elle. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. And for Elle's full episode and to check out all her videos, go to our 24 hour streaming service, CBSN New York or CBSNewYork.com slash. The dig.